At Radio's Topping in the Morning, nearly 25 minutes to eight, and we are getting ourselves ready for today's headline or hearsay. Uh, I think we're going to be on Facebook, but if not, don't worry, because it will be on Facebook just a couple of minutes afterwards, so you can pretend to play along. Just a little bit more. Exactly. And keep up to date with everything that's been going on in the show by following our social media channels. You'll find lots of video there, including Andy the cow farmer from yesterday's show. Aww. And our crazy little TikTok we did. Yes. But uh, also, if you do Andy watch... Andy was music to my ears. No. Okay, sorry. It's cow farmer music. music yeah, to my ears. Oh, no, we got it, but no. Time for today's headline or hearsay. <laughs> OK, imagine you're on a school trip to London and you're feeling a little snoozy, so you nod off on the coach. But then imagine waking up to find it's night time and the rest of your class have disappeared. That's what happened to a year six pupil from Broadstone Middle School in Poole who spent the night on the coach in a car park while the rest of his class were in a hotel. The school's come under fire for its risk assessments and processes and an investigation is underway into how it happened. This is brilliant. It is, but I've got a funny story about this. We went to a Christmas party about three years ago with a company and one of the guys got a little bit too drunk and kicked out of the hotel that he actually had a hotel room staying in. So he stayed in his van and they wouldn't let him back in, but even though he had a hotel room. So in the morning, he's gone up like, I've actually got a room <laughs> and they wouldn't let him in. Can I just go have a, have a shower? I'll, you know, I'll pay, <laughs> t- pay 200 quid for this. Yeah, uh, exactly. You know, I haven't been able to sleep in it. I've been in my van. but He was just too drunk and had too much to drink and they were like, off you go, you've had enough. And I think at the time, he went, okay, <laughs> forgot oh, I had room. <laughs> forgotten I had room. Forgotten it. I have got a room upstairs. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not as good as my wife who fell asleep on the Red Funnel car ferry. <gasps> And woke up and it was all shut down. You've said this. This yeah. is brilliant. And it was actually parked at a different part <laughs> of uh, Southampton Ferry Terminal. How did she do that? That's I can do I that. Would... I can fall asleep. I think it it's like takes you back to being in the womb. That sort of like <laughs> gentle like sound and rocking. Like on a train, on a bus, on a boat, I will fall asleep. My Within brother's five fell minutes. Falling asleep on the train. My, mm. I was going to say my worst nightmare is when you get on a train and you know the destination station is Edinburgh. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. you get on it, you think, I must not fall asleep. I must not fall asleep. Must, don't want to end up in Inverness. Because <laughs> no, it's not like a plane, is it? Where they do no. make sure you get yeah. off. Anyway, uh, did... Uh, I can't believe... I can't imagine a school trip. There's going to be a head count. You know that they put your hands up. What, once you've had your head count, I'm off the bus. Or don't you remember yeah. they used to actually do that? Yeah. They used to tap you on the head? Yeah. I mean, I, I, can't do that these days. Can't you? Okay. You used to just pretend air, air, air tap yeah air pat put your hand down what's I've counted you it was that as I mean, well wasn't it t- I remember the teachers physically grabbing hold of my head moving my head around look this way topping <laughs> you're not I concentrating can imagine this. Mm. <laughs> I think that that has got to be hearsay. a hearsay because I cannot imagine in this day and age that you would leave a child on a coach overnight there's lots of things I see with the school kids now and I feel a little bit jealous that we didn't have high-vis jackets when we went out yeah. on trips yeah. they do that now don't they yeah. a little, they hold on to a little rope sometimes yes. as well I'm like we never had that we were just let it go rogue yeah <laughs> get a partner we're off to the library yeah, yeah. we're off to like, try and keep up if not we'll see you back at school at three <laughs> o'clock and the onus was always that you would be in trouble if you got lost. Yes. Yeah. school wouldn't. It was like, if you went missing, yeah. you were in big trouble. I can remember being in the first year of secondary school, so I suppose we were about 11, and actually going and being dumped in London on a Activities Week event. Literally, the coach drove to central London by Madame Tussauds, and they went, everybody off, be back on the coach by three o'clock. Wow. Yeah. You could do what you wanted yeah. in London. It was like, do whatever you wanted. We were like, woo that is a good one. So I think we went, to, we went to HMV. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a hearsay as well. Mind you, HMV in Oxford Street was a game changer. It was. <laughs> hearsay. No, that is a headline. <gasps> yeah. Can you imagine? I was talking to some friends about this yesterday, some uh, school mums, and they were like, you know why? I was like, how did like they not know? Like the kids in the room, how did they not notice? One of their, their kid mates was said- missing. They said, if it was a girl that had gone missing, all the girls in that room would have gone, miss, miss, so-and-so's missing. And, but the boys just wouldn't have noticed. No, it, Unless, of course, it had been you, and then everyone would have gone, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> She's gone off again. <laughs> it's nearly 20 to 8. This is Isle of White Radio. You're the light, you're the night, you're the colour of my blood. You're the cure, 